Lesson 1. Classification of FPV Drones In this video, we will explore different types of FPV drones, from compact and lightweight micro drones that are perfect for indoor flying, to large racing drones that can accelerate to incredible speeds. We will also discuss some of the most popular models on the market and their features. Before you start flying an FPV drone, you need to learn how to control them in a simulator. It's like with a Boeing or any other aircraft. First, we learn on a flight simulator, and only then do we move on to real flights. FPV drones are expensive. If you are not ready to spend money on each of your flights, you need to approach pre-flight preparation seriously. The best simulator today, in my opinion, is liftoff. It is the closest to the behavior of a real drone. Before you pick up a real drone, you should spend at least 15 hours in the simulator. It is important for us to establish the correct technique for controlling the FPV drone and to feel its operation by controlling its speed and maneuvers. Then, like in a driving school after learning to drive, you need to buy your first car, in our case an FPV drone, for further flight practice. In this case, the best option would be a lightweight and inexpensive micro drone, the Tiny Hook. This FPV drone is designed for training flights. It is small, with a frame diameter usually of either 1.2 inches or 1.6 inches. It is lightweight and safe for those around it because it has protective ducts on its frame. They protect the propellers from damage, thereby protecting others from your drone and preventing the motors from burning out due to hard impacts. It is best for indoor flying in limited spaces. Such drones operate on 1S or 2S batteries. It has a turtle mode. If your drone falls and flips upside down, you only need to switch a toggle on the remote control for the drone to return to its normal position. Although the Tiny Hoop is a micro drone, it can accelerate to 30 km per hour, which will please those who want to try racing an FPV drone for the first time. However, you need to understand the drawbacks of such a drone. Since it is small and lightweight, it does not withstand windy weather. Even a light breeze will blow this drone away. Due to its size, this drone also cannot fly for long. It simply cannot carry a large battery. Therefore, the Tiny Hoop flies in calm conditions for about 3 minutes. If you try to fly at maximum speed, your flight will last up to 1 minute. Considering the aforementioned drawbacks, this drone does not require a long flight distance. It flies up to 80 meters in one direction from the launch point. There are many good models of Tiny Hoop, here are some of them. Happy Model Mobula 6, Newbie Drone Acro B65 BLV4 with an analog video system, or Happy Model Mobula 6 HD0 with a digital video system. However, these models are sold separately from all the necessary equipment. What does this mean? To control any FPV drone, you will always need the FPV drone itself, a remote control, and FPV goggles. Buying each component separately can be expensive for starting your acquaintance with FPV drones. Therefore, there is a quite decent option among micro drones, even more common, which is the Beta FPV Cetus Pro FPV Kit. This kit will be the cheapest option to start in FPV. The kit includes the FPV drone Tiny Hoop Cetus Pro, FPV goggles, a remote control, two batteries, and spare propellers. If you decide to buy the kit, my recommendation is to purchase at least a couple of additional batteries to increase your flight time. We have covered the FPV drone for training flights. Once you establish the correct control of the FPV drone in the simulator, practice your skills on the Tiny Hoop, and feel what real FPV drone control is like, only then does it make sense to move on to more serious drones, which we will discuss next. Next, we will look at the Sinew Hoop FPV drone. This FPV drone is quite similar to the Tiny Hoop due to the presence of ducks. However, it has significant differences that allow it to fly faster, longer, and carry a payload. Let's discuss this FPV drone in more detail. The diameter of its frame ranges from 1.6 to 3.5 inches. In total, they are produced in only 5 sizes. 
The smaller the frame size, the more compact and lighter the drone is, but it will perform worse in windy conditions. The larger the frame size, the heavier the drone is, but it is more powerful, better able to handle wind, which provides greater stability outdoors, and can carry a heavier payload. It is quite safe for those around it due to the presence of protective ducts. Additionally, these ducts will help you protect the drone's propellers and motors from damage, saving you money. Its size allows it to fly both indoors and outdoors. If you choose this drone for training, it is acceptable, but only with a frame diameter of no more than 3 inches. A sinew hook with a frame diameter larger than 3 inches is significantly heavier than a tiny hook, has greater inertia, and will be more difficult for a beginner to handle. This FPV drone is often used for video recording. You can attach an additional camera, for example, a GoPro camera. In general, the payload that the drone can carry can be used in various ways, depending on your needs and imagination. Since the sinew hoop is larger, the batteries for it also have a greater capacity. When flying calmly, without pushing the throttle to the maximum, the drone can stay in the air for up to 10 minutes. When flying quickly, your drone can stay airborne for up to 3 minutes. Your flight time will always depend on the capacity of your battery, your flying style, whether you fly quickly or smoothly, weather conditions, and the weight of the payload. The maximum speed of such a drone can reach up to 60 km per hour. The battery for sinew hook drones is selected based on their size. Typically, batteries ranging from 1S to 4S are used. Just like the tiny hook, having ducks allows the sinew hook to utilize the turtle mode. This FPV drone has a greater flight range. Each sinew hook will have its own range, which will depend on the same parameters that affect flight time. However, to provide a better understanding, let me give an example. A sinew hook based on a 3.5-inch frame with top-notch electronic components, motors, antennas, and a powerful battery can fly up to 2 kilometers in one direction and return to the launch point. This means a total of 4 kilometers. You can solder a GPS module to the sinew hook which will allow you to set up a return-to-home mode for the FPV drone in case of a loss of control signal during flight. Here are some examples of sinew hook models that are currently considered the best builds. Beta FPV Pavo 20, Flywoo Cinerace 20, Beta FPV Pavo 25 V2, QRC Cinebot 25, Darwin FPV Cineape 35, Speedy BB 35. Now we move on to the next type of FPV drone, Freestyle. These drones differ from the previous ones in that they have a golden standard frame size. All freestyle drones are 5 inches. Due to the size and assembly of the frame, such a drone becomes versatile, balanced, and suitable for various flying styles. Now let's discuss this drone in more detail. Regarding the frame size, as mentioned, the golden standard is 5 inches. It is in this frame size that the freestyle FPV drone shows its best flying capabilities. In the assembly of such a drone, ducts are already absent. This is because the presence of ducts in the frame almost halves the speed of the drone, as they create significant drag. When flying a drone without ducts, you need to be very skilled at controlling the FPV drone. Any careless, uncontrolled movement can result in broken props, burned out motors, and damaged electronic components of the drone. The freestyle FPV drone is exclusively for outdoor flying. It has powerful motors, high speed, and requires space to unleash its capabilities. Flying this drone indoors is like driving a Ferrari only in a parking lot with a speed limit of 20 km per hour. The speed of your drone will depend on its assembly. On average, speeds of up to 190 km per hour can be achieved. If you delve into the world of FPV drone components, you can create a custom build and push the drone to speeds of 260 km per hour or more. Flight time, again, depends on the assembly and battery capacity. The freestyle FPV drone, due to its powerful motors and electronic components, is very power-hungry and quickly drains the battery. If you fly this drone calmly and smoothly, the flight time will be approximately up to 10 minutes. If you utilize all its capabilities to the maximum, the flight will last approximately up to two minutes. The flight range of the Freestyle FPV drone is not much greater than that of the Sinew Hook drone. The Freestyle drone has a narrow frame and it is physically impossible to install a larger, more powerful battery on it. 
Therefore, the maximum flight range of this drone is up to 4 kilometers. Typically, 6S batteries are used with this drone. A GPS module is essential for the freestyle drone. It can primarily save you from losing the drone. If you execute an unsuccessful maneuver and lose connection with the drone, the failsafe mode, which works only with the GPS module, will return the drone to its launch point. Examples of successful ready-made freestyle FPV drone builds include iFlight Evoque F5, iFlight Nazgul F5X, and GRC Mark V. These builds are available in versions with both analog and digital video systems. Next, we will look at the Cinelifter FPV drone. Cinelifters are designed and built to carry professional-grade cinema cameras, meaning large and heavy ones. They are characterized by high stability in flight, allowing for smooth and professional video capture. Gimbals like the Ronin, which are used in these drones for the camera, provide excellent stabilization, reducing vibrations and shakes in the footage. They can often carry additional equipment, such as FPV monitors or extra cameras to expand their capabilities. Cinelifters can be classified as engineering drones. While their primary task remains to meet specific needs in cinematography, these drones can also be used for surveillance, inspections of various structures, areas, and search and rescue operations. These drones have sizes ranging from 7 to 11 inches and are produced in configurations with 8 motors. On some Cinelifter frame builds, protective ducts can also be installed. Many motors mean a need for a large amount of energy. Therefore, these drones use either two 6S batteries that are connected together and discharge alternately, or a custom-built 12S battery. Flight time depends on the drone's configuration and the weight of the payload it carries. It can vary from 15 to 30 minutes. The speed of the Cinelifter FPV drone can reach up to 160 km per hour. The flight range will depend on the drone's configuration and the radio horizon of the flight trajectory. However, this is where its advantages end. The Cinelifter is not for everyone. Firstly, it is difficult to control, balance, and manage the flight due to its large weight and high inertia. Its complex engineering design requires in-depth knowledge of programming FPV drones and detailed fine-tuning for each task it will perform. This drone is high cost, with prices starting from $2,000. Therefore, crashing it is quite expensive, especially with a camera attached. Examples of successful ready-made Cinelifter FPV drone builds include the Lumineer QAV Pro Lifter Cinequads Edition RTF drone and the Taurus X8. Lastly, we will look at long-range FPV drones. Long-range is the foundation of all FPV drones designed for long-distance flights. There are micro, standard, and mega long-range FPV drones. Micro is a new trend in the FPV drone sector. These drones are very efficient, can fly long distances, and are easier to control due to their small size. The frames of micro long-range drones can range from 2 to 4 inches. The smaller the FPV drone, the less powerful it is. However, the most popular size is still 4 inches. A 4-inch micro long-range FPV drone can fly for up to 40 minutes. In general, it is recommended to use Li-ion batteries of 2 to 4S. The larger the battery capacity, the longer the flight time. The flight range will depend on your drone's configuration, weather conditions, and the radio horizon of the chosen area. Examples of successful builds of micro long-range FPV drones include Flywu Explorer LR 4-inch, DRC Crocodile Baby 4, iFlight Chimera 4 LR, and Diatone Roma F4. Standard refers to the basic FPV drones that we encounter most often. They are quite large and, depending on the configuration, can carry up to 3.5 kilograms of payload and fly long distances. The frames of standard long-range FPV drones can range from 7 to 10 inches. Most commonly, builds are made in 7-inch or 8-inch sizes. The flight time of these drones can also reach up to 40 minutes, depending on the configuration and the weight they carry. They use either LiPu or Li-ion batteries of 6S and above. The flight range will depend on your drone's configuration, weather conditions, and the radio horizon of the chosen area. Practice shows that under ideal conditions, it is possible to fly 30 to 35 kilometers with such drones. 
Mega refers to FPV drone builds that are 11 inches and larger. Typically, their frames are X-shaped, with crossbars between the arms. These drones are designed and manufactured to order. Their primary purpose is to carry heavy, bulky loads, thanks to their sturdy, wide frames and powerful motors. However, their usage can be modified. You can adapt this drone to your specific tasks, understanding its capabilities.